I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Disc Makers. I'm sitting here next to one of the huge monitors that we have in our sound lab, and I'm thinking about an idea for you that will do two amazing things. Number one, make fans clamor to buy your physical product, and number two, make you an extra large profit margin. Do I have your attention yet? Here's the idea. It's very simple. Release a limited edition of your next product. It almost doesn't matter what the product is. A CD, a vinyl record, even a t-shirt or other merch item. Fans love to feel that they have access to something that is scarce, that is special. That's exactly the point of a limited edition. You lean into the scarcity factor and you use it to excite your fans and drive profitable revenue for you. Two things need to be true for a limited edition to be successful. Number one, it truly has to be limited. You don't want to release a limited edition of 10,000 CDs. Depending on your level of popularity as an artist, you should stick to 100, 300, maybe 500 units. Truly, you should make less product than the demand that you anticipate, so that some fans will be unable to get their hands on the product. When I talk about it being truly limited, that also means that you should not reorder or reissue your limited edition ever in the future. That would make your limited edition not limited, and it could kill the collector's market. You see, some fans buy limited edition merch because they think it'll appreciate in value. You see limited edition records for sale on eBay or Discogs all the time at values well above what they were bought for. That's one of the appeals of a limited edition, until you make it not limited by reordering it. The second thing that needs to be true for a limited edition to be successful is that fans have to know that this is a limited edition. You have to tell them. That will make your fans covet the product all the more. Limited editions are special. If your fans don't know your CD is a limited edition, then what's the point of pressing a limited edition in the first place? So I started this video mentioning that you could make an extra profit margin with a limited edition. This is because issuing a limited edition of anything will mean that demand necessarily has to exceed supply, which makes it extra valuable, which means you can sell your limited edition product for a higher price than you usually would a regular edition that you'll keep reordering for as long as there's demand. Fun, right? Now, you can just do a straight up limited edition of an album or EP, which is cool. But the real opportunity with limited editions is to make them truly special. That is what drives fans crazy and allows you to charge a real premium. How do you do that? I'm going to give you seven examples of how you make your limited edition extra special. Number one, this may sound obvious, but start by truly making it special. Don't release just a regular album. Use blue and yellow splatter vinyl. Do a special exterior package or an expanded booklet with more pages and pictures. Make fans feel special for buying your limited edition and getting something unique. If you don't want to limit your new album's sales, with just a limited edition, then do multiple versions. Do a regular album version, and then that special limited edition version that I just mentioned that will sell for a premium. Number two, autograph every copy of the limited edition run. That doesn't just make it unique, it also makes it uniquely personal. Believe it or not, for your fans, your autograph has real value. You can charge extra for a signed copy. Number three, number your copies. 1 slash 100, 2 slash 100, etc. Like limited edition art prints, you've seen them. That really gets the message across that there will only be 100 copies made of this product and you have the 33rd copy. Right now at Disc Makers, we don't really have a good way to print that digitally on your cover. However, when you look at art prints, the serialization is usually handwritten at the bottom of the print in the corner in pencil. On your limited edition record, you can certainly do that yourself with a Sharpie. And you might as well autograph the record while you're at it. Number four, 
Here's something cool an artist of ours did before they released their album. They burned some limited edition demo copies just on a blank CDR. Then they wrote their band name on it with a Sharpie and in big Sharpie letters, demo. And they put them up for sale at their merch booth. And fans loved them. This artist already had an established fan base, so getting a personalized, very limited edition demo copy of new songs was super exciting to their fans. Imagine getting a demo copy back in the day or a test pressing of a Jimi Hendrix record or an early Kendrick Lamar demo CD. It's great stuff. Number five, speaking of test pressings, this is also a great way to sell something super limited. When you place your vinyl album order, order five or 10 or 20 extra test pressings of your record and put them up for sale. It's super special for fans and you could probably sell them for, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks. Number six, put songs on the CD or record that will never be on streaming. This will compel fans to buy the physical product, whether at concerts or on your website or your Bandcamp page. It makes the product have a, a, a something that they gotta have. And number seven, release an album or EP that you will only sell at your concerts, not online, not on streaming, and tell your fans who are at the concert that this record is a limited edition available only to concert attendees. Makes it super special merch piece, a memento really for everyone who's at your concerts. So what do you think? You excited yet? I am, kinda. Now, I can picture you thinking, how much should I charge for my limited edition release? And the answer is, depends. Depends on the product and how special it really is. The more special and the more you anticipate that demand will outstrip supply, the more of a premium you can charge. It also depends on what you are looking to accomplish. If you're an emerging artist and you want to maximize your profit margin, then charge a premium. How much of a premium? I'd say, Use your gut. Don't be piggish, but try a price at your merch table, at a concert, and see how the fans react. If they don't buy many, your price may be too high. If they snap them up in a minute, your price could probably be higher. And then there's the opposite strategy of charging a premium. This could be very effective if you're already somewhat established artist and you want to do something really, really special for your fans that will drive them nuts. In that case, have a limited edition product, but don't charge extra. That will surely make your special edition go viral on your fans' socials, which will pay off for you in other promo and PR ways. So, ready to roll? If you're interested in doing a limited edition CD or vinyl record or USB order, we're happy to assist. Just give us a call or check out the options on our website. Go forth and prosper, my friend.